try to make a screencast of a problem solution. This is a problem that we saw some time ago and I'm going to solve it for you. I believe our notes don't have a complete solution. So consider a sequence that's uh, defined recursively in the following way. So there's the definition of our sequence. We want to show the sequence converges. Then find its limit. Okay, so I'm going to do this in two steps. First, I'm going to show it's bounded below. And then I'm going to show it's monotone decreasing. From these, the monotone conversion test will imply that the limit exists. For some L. And then we can go find out what that L is later. So for number one, consider this. Let's look at Sn squared minus 5. And I'm going to show this as positive, so that I'll mean that Sn is bigger than the square root of 5. So this equals 1 half. this squared minus 5. So do the math, we get 1 fourth times all that minus 5. I can rewrite it that way, and the 10 and the negative 20 will combine. And we get that. And that's one fourth of this. And that is a positive number. Oh, wrong direction. Okay. So, Sn squared minus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. So, Sn squared is greater than or equal to 5. I can take the square root of both sides. And since the square root function is a monotone function, it preserves inequalities. And this shows Sn is bounded below by the square root of 5. So we want to show the sequence is decreasing. So Sn is bigger than or equal to Sn plus 1. And note that's the same thing as Sn minus Sn plus 1 is bigger than or equal to 0. So what is Sn minus Sn plus 1? That's Sn minus 1 half Sn plus 5 over Sn. Right? That's 1 half of 2 Sn minus Sn minus 5 over Sn. And that's 1 half Sn minus 5 over Sn. And that
that's 1 half sn squared minus 5 all over sn. Since sn is always bigger than or equal to the square root of 5, sn squared is always bigger than or equal to 5. So this is always positive. So that shows our sequence is bounded below and decreasing. So by the monotone convergence theorem, the limit as n goes to infinity of Sn equals L for some L. Now I'll repeat what we did in class one day. What is it? Well, the limit as n goes to infinity of Sn is the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 half Sn minus 1 plus 5 or Sn minus 1. We know the left-hand side is L. The right-hand side, by the algebraic limit theorem, is 1 half L plus 5 over L. And we know L is not 0 because the sequence is bounded above by square root of 5. So we'll solve this. Uh, let's multiply through by L. We get L squared equals 1 half L squared plus 5. 2L squared equals L squared plus 5. L squared equals 5, so L equals plus or minus root 5, but can't be negative root 5, so L equals root 5, and we're done.